first brown bear chip. Then it got mud. This time I'm out with Peter Rosén. He's a friend to us and he works as a nature photographer, filmmaker and he makes guided tours. He especially makes these uh, photo safaris. We put a link somewhere down here to his website and you can check what he's doing a little bit more closely if you're interested. Our goal is to try to see the brown bear eating berries above the tree line with all these beautiful colored leaves and nature that we have in the middle of September. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Matti. Together with my girlfriend, I run a small guide company and we offer guided dog sled tour, pack craft tours, canoe tours, and we make these videos. We've been camping one night and now we're hiking up the last part to the tree line. We hike through a very old spruce forest with some birches and pine trees also, of course. It's a mixed forest, a natural forest. Here we have the first brown bear chip. Then it got mud. Old.
shoot.
So we have been sitting up here the whole day on this small ridge and looking with binocular and checking the slopes all around us and we actually got one nice elk bull coming quite close to us so that was really but we our goal was brown bear and the only brown bear stuff we've seen until now is brown bear shit uh, we also could see some eagles flying up here and even if we haven't seen brown bear we had have very nice nature experience so that's good goal was to sitting here in the morning light and searching for the brown bear because this time of the day they usually appear and eating and now we get fog so we can just wish that the fog will go away soon Good morning 
og se jo ingenting. had a kind of foggy morning and with a lot of low clouds we actually waked up in the middle of the cloud and now it starts clearing up No brown bear. But it has been a very beautiful trip. And it is still a very beautiful trip. And if you look behind me, kilometer after kilometer with forest and wetland and a very nice area. I definitely want to come back here. I also want to talk a little bit about YouTube because we see that a lot of you who look at our videos don't subscribe to the videos. It's for free to start an account on YouTube without producing videos. If you start your own account to YouTube you can subscribe to different channels and then you can have a button and you push subscribe channels and then you only see your favorite channels. If you do that you actually help all of us, us who create videos, you help us in the algorithm because if we get a lot of people who subscribe to the channel and a lot of views, YouTube promote our, promote our channel better actually. So feel free to do that, it's no cost, nothing, totally free. And if you want to support our channel you could also go to Patreon and support our channel. We put different pictures there and it's also for free so it's totally voluntary if you want to support this channel. I think that was all for me today. See you next time. Ciao!